Hello everyone, I am Super Sexy Kawaii Girl, the world's foremost male bouncy streamer, and I am here today to play a bit of Mantra, or specifically the demo of Mantra over on Steam, available thanks to Steam Next Fest. And I uh, haven't played it yet, but it looks like a, the kind of shooter I might enjoy. So I'm just going to take a quick look at the UI here. Okay, sensitive, separate sense of, uh, horizontal and vertical sensitivity, I like. Um, you can change the key bindings, good stuff. It looks like fairly simplistic key bindings, if I'm being honest, but that's fine. Um... The audio was off for some reason. Let's have a look at the graphics settings. Okay, decent graphics settings. Let's knock all of that down to high though, just in case. Oh, I've, I've, you've got to double click to make any of these things work. Good to know. Um, okay, this slider is motion blur. I had to look all the way over left to right. I do wish that the, um, that the brain work with me. That the menu was a bit more centered. I usually do when I'm when I see these menus go all the way across, but at least it's not scaling so weirdly that it, it doesn't work at all. Okay, I got the I got the sensitivity just about right at the start. Hmm. A little industrial. Ah. There is no zoom or there's no uh iron sights. There's no Aim down sights. Can I pick those up? No? Oh, I, I, oh, I'm betting those are health drops. Okay, I see. In that case, I might actually want to change my sensitivity just a, a little more. No, nope, too much. It's always a finicky affair. Better. The field of view could definitely use some work because I'm dealing with a very narrow field of view right now. Press gamepad face button right. Okay, what controls interact is why is that a different... What? Okay. Ah! Screwed it up. <laughs> Try again. Okay, I've got to wait till... Okay, it's respawned the enemies. Note to self, it respawns enemies. Okay. So I wait till the thing's about horizontal. I can't see it because stupid FOB. Okay, there we go. I'm crouching. Okay, I can work with that. That's coming, that's coming. Ah. Movement platforming and puzzles. Great. Um, but I think I see my stop. Hey, hey Vampy, thanks for being here. Go ahead, lay down. Oh, no, not again. Oh, it, I guess it put me forward in the mission. Forward unto dawn, so to speak. Ah, darn it. Those lasers. Okay. This turns out this is not one of my games. I don't like these constant environmental hazards. I'd rather be shooting rather than platforming, you know? 
especially with this jank ass field of view. But I have apparently reached the belly of the beast. Uh, controls are fine, performance is fine, art styles, nothing wrong with it. Looks like I'm headed in that way to go shoot the heck out of somebody. I don't know if there's a story here, but... I'm guessing in time you get more and different kinds of weapons. Okay, so we're not going in there, we're going down and around. And presumably I will have to jump off at just the right time. I do like the way they're doing the synth music. And you can fire pretty much as fast as you need to, although you do have recoil. Keep that in mind. There is no sprint. You just walk. This, it is like old Halo, damn. Presumably I can use, um, parkour to stay away from the baddies if I need to. Are they endlessly respawning? Is there something I have to do to get them off my ass? Okay, it looks like they're gone. I guess we find out what's up here. Oh, that's just the way around again. Though it's not just um, parkour, of course, it's pathfinding. Getting where you need to go. And I'm starting to think they might actually indefinitely respawn which is mildly irritating to me. You think it would be better if it was a rail shooter? Maybe, you might be right. I literally don't know where to go from here. Oh, I think it's, ah, it's arena style. You just keep shooting until you find the bad guy. And this is a weak spot back there. Mm. Come on. Go just keep the high ground on this guy. You can basically cheese him if you can hit the weak spot. That's the tough part, because he doesn't like showing it to you, which is probably really smart of him, if we're being honest. Okay, that was the whole demo. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that was the whole demo right there. Okay, okay. Um, I was expecting to play this for more than 10 minutes, preferably, but here we are. Uh, yeah, you might be absolutely right. You might be right that this would be better as an on-rails shooter. It feels like the, um, some of the shooting and some of the... I suppose you might call them the 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 movement mechanics do feel a little bit half baked. Could be could definitely be more interesting, but overall the art style and the like the quality of the presentation and overall the um heaps of puzzles to solve and bosses to be ugh puzzles. And you do get more weapons, which is good. 
And it will all be free? What? In any case, this game does seem like um, someone put a lot of thought into it. And while it might be better with some changes, I'm actually pretty impressed because, uh, I mean, there are a lot of good indie shooters, but there are a whole lot more absolutely terrible indie shooters. And this is one of the ones that shows potential. So this has been Super Sexy Kawaii Girl for you people on YouTube. Um, I'm ending the recording here. Take care, everyone, and please do the things to, that keep the YouTube channel alive and happy. The things that please the algorithm. Um, I have been Super Sexy Kawaii Girl, the world's foremost male bounce streamer, and that is it for this video. Take care, everybody. Twitch viewers, stick around, and LiveSpace viewers, too, please. Please. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop making that joke.